So the million dollar question, how to write the perfectly optimized SEO article for your website that also ranks and also converts traffic into paying customers. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly my process from start to finish, how I turn a normal mundane article into a traffic generating machine that also converts people into purchasing your product or your service. Hey, very quickly, if you are struggling ranking your website on Google, maybe you are an e-commerce store trying to get more sales or potentially you might even be a local business trying to generate more leads for your company, check the link down below. I have helped businesses rank higher than the Google logo. Okay, that might have been a slight lie, but if you are looking to consistently grow your revenue month on month, check the link down below, fill in the form, see if my team can help you. Right, back to the video. So the Perfect SEO article does three things very well. First of all, it obviously ranks very well. Second of all, it converts traffic into actual customers for your product or your service. And the third thing it does very well is that it answers the intent. So if somebody is searching, how do I rank higher on Google? That article that you are publishing should actually match the intent and the user should be satisfied after they've read the entire article. So the next thing we need to ask ourselves is what type of page are we writing? So currently I have got three different types of pages listed. I have got service pages, which is bottom of the funnel, guides, which is middle of the funnel, and blog articles, which is top of the funnel. So service pages would essentially be a dedicated page talking about your service, why people should hire you, or why people should purchase your product or service. Now in this page, what we wanna be doing is highlighting our expertise and also mentioning how great we are at providing this service. So for example, if we are talking about teeth whitening, we can say that we use the latest Philips at Zoom at our dentistry clinic. Or let's say for example, we are a DUI attorney, we can say that we have got a 97.2% chance of actually clearing your case when it goes to actual the attorney. So you can mention certain things like that and it also will help people convert into actual paying customers for your business. So the next type of article that we are looking at is middle of the funnel. Now, middle of the funnel are targeted for people that might not be ready to be hit with a service page just yet. You might need to educate them a little bit more. A prime example of a middle of the funnel type article would be how to pick out the best law firm in London. So in that article, you could be talking about to pick the best law firm, you should be looking at previous reviews, client testimonials, looking at the history of that law firm. And by the end of that article, what you are hoping for is once the user has finished reading that entire article, they are ready to then look at your service pages and essentially hire you as a law firm. So that is what is called middle of the funnel. Then we have got top of the funnel articles. Now a top of the funnel article would go out to a much wider audience. That being said, the type of articles are more educational. So for example, how much does a divorce cost or do I get to keep the house in a divorce? These are the type of articles that you should be focusing when I speak about top of the funnel. Now, some people like to ignore top of the funnel keywords, but I strongly suggest you do end up publishing some of these articles because it can be a good education base for your client base that are looking to hire you for your services. So now that we know what the perfect SEO article contains and also the type of articles, the next thing what we are looking at is how to structure that article. So all I have done here is I have searched how to get more patients for your dental practice and this is more of a middle of the funnel uh, style article. And what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grabbing all of the positions one, two, and also three, and I'm gonna be pasting them into my sheet here. So what my sheet actually does is it actually goes to this page and it grabs all of the subheadings 
and also the headings on this page as well. And we want to be essentially grabbing all of these to then craft our own perfect article. So what I've done here is I've just grabbed positions one and two, and I'm then also going to go to position number three and also do the same. One thing I will also do is the link to this sheet I'll have in the description. So if you do want to actually use this for your own website, you can definitely use it. But on the grand scheme of things, it's nothing really special. Uh, all it does is it just goes and grabs all of the subheadings on every single page. So when we look to actually create our article, we know which keywords and also which secondary keywords to get onto, onto the actual page as well. So now that we actually have a list of subheadings, what we want to be doing is including some of these subheadings on our article. Now, what I like to do for this case is I've just used a simple reverse engineering strategy where I've just looked at the top three competitors that are ranking ver very well, and I'm gonna be using their subheadings on my article. So all I have done here is I've just went over to ChatGBT and I have copied over all of the subheadings from our competitors. And this is the prompt that I've used. Combine these subheadings into an article on how to get more patients for your dental practice. Here are a list of subheadings. And then I have just pasted all of the subheadings here. What I will do is I'll just pause on this for a couple seconds so you guys can actually use this prompt. And then what I have essentially been given back is a list of subheadings to actually include on our page. So here is the actual content brief. And as you can see here, it has actually broken everything down into an SEO format as well. So what I'll do now is I will just copy this over on to our Google Doc here. So this is what it basically looks like. And it also has got everything that we need. So H1 is how to get more patients for your dental practice. And then you would obviously write a little bit of a intro. Now, one thing that I would strongly suggest you guys put a lot of time and effort on, because this actually helps turn a okay article into a great converting article. So the title, which is how to get patients for your dental practice. In this case, what you want to be doing is thinking about the psychology of somebody that is actually landing on this page. So for example, it, this article needs to resonate with either a marketing manager or potentially a business owner. So for example, if you think of it, somebody that is actually searching how to get more patients for their dental practice, they might have had a potential bad few months, they might have lost some clients, they might be on the merge of potentially getting rid of some staff, um, they might also be looking to just grow their business, um, they might have tried SEO, they might have tried PPC, or they might have heard all of these things. So if you can actually mention some of these things and actually resonate with the client or the potential person that's landing on this page, it can go a very, very long way. So a few things that I would be mentioning at the very start of this article would be certain pain points that the actual client has. So I would potentially say, are you struggling to grow your dental practice or are you looking to grow your dental practice? Here is our recipe for growing dental practices. Then I would start talking about potentially marketing budgets, keyword research, SEO, etc. But that very first paragraph on a page is super important. If somebody reads the first paragraph and they just don't resonate and they don't actually have the pain points in there, they're most likely gonna bounce and go to one of your competitors. Now, at the start of this video, I actually said, a perfectly optimized article has three things. First of all, it ranks well. Second of all, it actually turns traffic into paying customers. This is what I mean. You need to be focusing a lot on the actual introduction and then you can get into the beefy part of actually talking about the different SEO strategies or PPC or Facebook ads to actually grow their business. But if you don't actually have the correct int introduction, you're not gonna go a very long way. So this is what my introduction actually looks like. The dental industry can be super competitive, attracting and also retaining patients can be challenging. Dental practices 
must continuously adapt and innovate to stay ahead. So the reason why I actually have used this wording is because first of all, some dental practices might actually be really good at acquiring new customers, but also retaining them might also be a little bit difficult. And as a business owner that knows their business, they know the patients and also the drop-off rate of potential patients, if you're actually mentioning certain things like retaining patients and also acquiring new, they will actually be able to resonate with this article a lot more than just a AI written article. So that's been a quick rundown on how I like to, first of all, structure my articles, how I also like to do my introductions and also how I like to do my content briefs as well. So an added tip that you should always be asking yourself is, what do you want the actual user to do with this article? So let's say in a imaginary world, if 1000 people landed on this page, what do you want those 1000 people to do? Do you want them to read more articles? Do you want them to possibly click a contact form and fill in the actual form? Or do you want them to potentially even phone your business? Now, the reason why it's super important for a content writer to actually know what the end outcome is, I like to call this the scope of the article, is it's very simple. If the content writer doesn't know the scope of the actual article, it's very hard for them to actually put in call to action. So for example, you might have four or five times within the article, you might mention, hey, we can actually help with this service. Let's say for example, you have an article talking about law or let's say family law. You can actually mention throughout that article, hey, we are a specialized family law and we also provide this as a service, why don't you get in touch? So your content writer should definitely know the actual scope of the actual article just so it's a little bit easier for them to actually add in call to actions throughout the article. This ultimately means that the SEO article will also have a much higher conversion rate, so the amount of people that actually end up buying your product or purchasing your service. This ultimately means that the SEO article will have a much higher conversion rate, so the people that actually end up inquiring for your service or purchasing your product will be a lot more. So that's been my video on how to write the perfect SEO article that doesn't just rank high, but also converts traffic into paying customers. If you have enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like. And if you want a free 15 minute growth strategy call with myself, make sure to check out the link in the description or go to casual-.com. Thanks.